For saddlebags, um, you may want to consider this one. It's made by Moto Gear Classic. You can find them at Walmart, but I believe that Walmart has taken them off the shelf. And uh, I just order these now. But um, I have two sets of them, and I have the center or the third bag. Uh, I don't remember what this is called, but um, it goes between the two saddlebags. So there's two saddlebags on the side, such as that. That's exactly what it looks like. There's two saddlebags on the side. That bag sits right on top here and hooks in with these uh, H-clips. It's a very good system. And not only that, this is a very good saddlebag. Um, I have two sets of these. And if you compare the price of these, these are the cheapest that you can get on the market. Uh, it's made by Classic Moto Gear. They make a lot of other things like covers. And um, they still make these saddlebags, but they are not sold at Walmart anymore. Um, this one is brand new. I've had this one for a year. And the other set that I have, I've had for four years and the one the one that I had for four years is faded it's almost like a light gray if you can tell here this is nice and dark gray it looks brand new even though it's a year old this is a year old but it looks brand new I take good care of it I bring it inside the saddlebags I do not bring inside I keep the bike under a cover and that's about it when it rains it's gonna get rained on um, one of them has ripped already. The older one, the one that's four years old, has ripped. They're very easy to fix. Now, these straps, these straps right here, disintegrate. They tend to, uh, they don't break, but they got some type of rubber on them that uh, when the sun dries it, they get brittle. And um, I just ignored it, to be honest with you. Once the rubber disintegrated and came off, I just kept on using it. And um, so I have, four, I have four of these, which means I have two sets of these. Um, one's brand new and one is extremely old. I've had to fix the other one. There were holes, you know, there were holes uh, back here on the bottom corner, uh, over here. I've fixed all that stuff. Is Basically, this is a very easy very easy um, set of saddlebags to repair. Unlike the leather ones that never rip, uh, these tend to be uh, less expensive. And you know, I'd, if I had leather ones, I would not leave them out in the rain. Uh, and I would put some type of waterproofing material on them. But these are, uh, they're not waterproof. They have a waterproof cover. And um, this one, I think you can get, I don't remember what the price is for them. I think they're 40 something dollars. Um, I think both of these saddlebags are 40 something dollars. And then this third one is also 40 something dollars. So, you know, that's compared to the other saddlebags out there by other companies. They're well over a hundred dollars and they don't come with the top one either. So that's something that you need to, uh, you know, but as far as does it last? Um, the one that's one year looks brand new. This one's one year, it looks brand new. It's not left outside. It's not left in the sun. It does get wet when it rains, it does get rained on. Um, the other one that is four years old has gone through hell and back. It has been in the sun. It has been in the heat. It has been in the water, and uh, they, uh, they they hold up. It it has ripped, and it will rip after two years, two or three years. It start it starts to rip. I'll show you what they look like on my bike. I have two bikes, so I have two sets of these. Um, and then this one, I just this is my carry instead of a tank bag because I have a GoPro mount, I have a camera mount on my tank. And um, I just, I don't, I can't put a tank bag on there. And I don't like the tank bags either. Um, but this one serves as a tank bag and I just unclip it and 
grab it, carry it with me. It does not have a knapsack or a strap to carry it over your shoulders. It's just simple, a briefcase. So that is an option if you're looking for saddlebags or looking for a better system. I would suggest this over the tank bag. Get the three set for, I believe, $80. It's going to be about 80 bucks for everything. And that's for the two saddlebags and the rear bag. And then use your rear bag right here. Use your rear bag as your tank bag so that you can put a camera. Um, I use it for a helmet. I, I, I keep my helmet on there and it doesn't slide off. And I just use that, you know, if I... And until I put my helmet back on, of course, but it's not going anywhere, even though you're going down a highway, it's still going to be on your tank on that little mount. So, um, you know, the, uh, the little bag here is just what I carry around, but I have two sets. I'll put up pictures on, they look very, very good. Also in terms of aesthetics, these bags are gorgeous. I'm telling you, they look gorgeous. They make your bike look gorgeous and this bag right here the rear tail bag you will find so many uses for it it's not even funny whether it's storing your uh, your rain gear you know your cell phone your GPS your maps or whatever you'll find so many different ways to carry you know stuff in in there and especially the valuable stuff like your Ray-Bans you know your Ray-Ban uh, sunglasses and stuff put them in there take it with you no problems. So uh, that's my analysis of the classic Moto Gear Extreme. I'll put some pictures up. I've got two sets or four bags. I I would say these are these are just kick ass. I would recommend anybody that gets them. Don't ride around with this. If you're in the rain and it's raining, don't put this on. Only put this on when it's parked. Don't put this on while you're riding. You can, but it will blow off. At 100, you know, I go down the freeway, and at about 80, this stuff starts to fly off. Um, that's what it looks like with all three bags. I just bought two sets, and I use one bag and carry it with me, so I can move it from one bike to the other. And uh, I use these saddle bags daily, you know, whether it's shopping or whatever. I use these things so much, so they get so much usage out of them that uh, some of it, one of them is ripped and it's very easy to repair. So that is my review.